Dr. Saki, what about the different categories of people who are not eligible to receive a zakat? Could you explain to the viewers who they are? Amongst the categories who are not eligible, those who do not fall in the eight categories mentioned in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 60, but national are not eligible to receive zakat as a general rule. But there are some people who may fall in the eight categories mentioned in Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse 60, yet they may not be eligible. First is the descendants of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 3, hadith number 2055 that once the Prophet sees a date falling down, and he said, I would love to eat it, but I'm afraid that it may be of charity, because the thing of charity cannot be consumed by the Prophet and his family. There's another hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the Book of Zakat, hadith number 1491, where Hassan ibn Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, once ate a date from what was part of the charity. So the Prophet said that expel it from your mouth, because the family of the Prophet, they cannot eat from what is given in charity. The reason is basically that people should not allege that the Prophet, you know, is taking zakat. Zakat is compulsory to the Muslims and Prophet is having from it. So it is the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he has seen to it that people should not lay an allegation. That's what I feel is one of the reasons. And the second category, those people who may fall in that category that are not eligible is if he's a non-Muslim, if he's a non-believer. As Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, there's a hadith mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the Book of Zakat, hadith number 1395, the Prophet said that it's compulsory to give zakat on your wealth, on your property, and take wealth from the rich and give it to the poor. He told the Muslims, so it means that non-Muslims, but not excluded. Even the rich man is excluded. The rich man, you cannot fall in the category who cannot receive zakat. And furthermore, the Prophet said, it's mentioned in the hadith of Tirmidhi, hadith number 661, the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that a person who is rich and able-bodied, he should not be given zakat. That means a rich person who can really do some work and do a job. So, but naturally should not be given zakat unless he is doing a job and the salary he gets is not sufficient for his basic needs. Then, but naturally he may be able-bodied yet you can give. But a normal person with able body who is not doing a job and begging and asking for zakat, the Prophet never approved of it. And the last category is you cannot give zakat to a person who is a dependent. He may fall in the eight categories. He may be poor, he may be masakin, he may be needy, he may be in debt. But a person who is a dependent, like for example, a person cannot give zakat to his wife, but the wife is a dependent. A person cannot give zakat to his son or his daughter, where the children are dependent on the father. Similarly, a son cannot give zakat to his father and mother because they are the dependents. So this is the fifth category who zakat cannot be given, even though they may fall in the eight categories of who have been permitted to receive zakat in Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse 60.